you being Bow Wow and you starting at such a young age, and I've talked to a lot of people about this, you get kind of shielded from the, the racism and the ugliness because of your celebrity. Would you say that that was correct? Um, as far as like why everybody just took it out of context and just ran with it or? Well, no, just in terms of your own experience. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, like. Yeah, I, ne I mean, I never really, ex I never really experienced that shit before. Like, yeah. and you know, I can only go by my life. You know what I'm saying? This is me talking about me. You know, I, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been living in Atlanta my whole life damn near for over 20 years, you know? And you know, this is the South where, you know, shit is really real at. And, you know, I've, I've never, uh, you know, I never really, I never really experienced it. You know, doesn't mean that when I see my people go through it that I don't feel the pain or I don't feel some type of way or, you know, there's no anger when I, when I see these things just because I might not tweet about it as much or post about it as much because, you know, once I open my mouth, everybody's all automatically glued in anyway. It's like I'm, all, I'm always in the lose-lose. So for me, that's why I kind of fall back from, you know, the political stuff and when you see a lot of stuff trending, hashtagging. I get a lot of people, yo, come on, bow, man, we need your voice, man. You, people look up to you. And, you know, for me, it's like, nah, because the times where I do try to say things, it, it gets spent out. And, you know, so for me, I just try to just fall back. But just because I haven't lived through it or I haven't been through it doesn't mean I don't see or notice what's going on or I don't feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Because we all do, you know? And um, yeah, I, 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 never, I never really went through that shit like that. You know, I, yeah, never went, never went through it. Someone like yourself, there's always a bunch of rumors. You've been dealing with the, with the rumor shit your whole life. The one rumor that's always kind of lingered around that I don't think that you've ever addressed, and I, I just want to ask you flat out, there's, there's been the crazy rumor that you got raped yeah, by your that's, security yeah, guard. That's fucking ridiculous. That's crazy. You've heard that before. Yeah, that was like the first rumor that like ever had came out. Um, I'll never forget that shit. I was in Paris, France. I was in Paris coming back to the States. And um, I was going through the airport. I believe I was going to Philly. And um, I had to call into the radio station and just clear that shit up. It, it never, like, it never really... Um, it never was really nothing crazy, like, cause like I said, like, people gonna talk, people gonna make up stuff, people gonna say things. That's just a part of the game, you know. What I mean, people have said the most craziest shit about people um, all the time, you know. what I mean, but uh, yeah, I don't I, actually. I don't even know where that shit even started from. I don't even know where that bogus shit even came from. So, but nah, I don't even really. I I never really had to. I might be like my fourth time ever really having to like answer that question before. Yeah, nobody asked me that shit. Right. Because what, this was pre-internet? This was like early, early in your career? Yeah, yeah. That was like the first rumor that ever like started on me as me being famous. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that shit. Like, okay. I'm like, all right. <laughs> okay, that's a that's a hell of a fucked up rumor, man. Yeah. <laughs> so you've talked about you don't really do relationships anymore. Uh, if or it's no. uh, if it, if it just happens organically and we're both on the same playing field, then yes. Um, but not a woman that wants to step into my life, and if I feel that she's taking me away from what I love, which is my hustle, which is me being who I am then no. Uh, if she's going to get in my way, if she's going to slow me down, babe, just stay in, babe, can we, babe, we never go out to eat, like, shut the fuck up, we got a chef, like, the fuck is you talking about? Like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm living and dying in what I do, so I need a woman to live and die with me through this shit, and, you know, if she can't do that, then no, nah, I'm cool, but, you know, as of right now, I'm like, I'm all right, I'm cool, man, I'm straight, 